Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing a video on three ways you can use chicken in a recipe. And this is a real simple recipe. Actually, these three recipes are simple recipes that I do on a week to week basis. So stay tuned on how you can make these simply in your own fare. So good. Okay, so the first meal I'm making is a Thai green curry um, and I'm just using this cauliflower and I'm going to be making a cauli mash. So all you have to do, cut up a cauli, put it on the stove, mash it up, easy. So while that preps on the stove, I'm just cutting up my vegetables for my curry and I'm just kind of doing these like bite-sized pieces. Seriously guys, I just used whatever was in my fridge and I, I had a few broccoli, I had a few capsicum and a few carrots and that's literally what I'm going to be doing for some of the recipes today. So for this particular recipe, I'm just using two lots of vegetables, I'm just using some yellow capsicum and some broccoli. I didn't even bother with any other re like vegetables because this is all I wanted in this particular recipe. So to a pan, I am just adding in my bought store curry paste. Now normally I'm one to make stuff from scratch but when it comes to curry paste I cannot make this so therefore I buy. <laughs> but I am just uh, cooking this paste out, something that I learned from Manu from My Kitchen Rules. Not that I did it, I'm just a big fan. Um, and he said to always cook out the paste because that like cooks out the flavours or something like that so that's what I'm doing today. It's such a good one, this one here as well. It's the Greg's curry paste. So I'm just popping in my two lots of vegetables, my broccoli and my yellow capsicum. And I'm just actually going to be cooking these through that. So they're kind of going to get marinated in that delicious curry paste. Adding in that chicken, cooking that up and then adding in my coconut milk once that chicken's cooked through. Sorry, I did miss a little bit. Um... But anyway, you get my drift. It's it's so easy and so simple. You just literally cook up vegetables, cook up your chicken, add in your coconut milk. Voila! That's it. Um, I do suggest if you want it to be a little bit thicker to add something like corn flour or arrowroot. Um, or you can just let it kind of simmer away until it's ready. Uh, with this one here, I'm just going to let it simmer away. And then I'm going to put a lid on top of my pan just so that they can like, you know, simmer away for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're going to use a food processor to process up that beautiful mash and uh, then we're going to serve it into our containers. Now, I didn't actually mention this, but I'm actually prepping this food for RV while I'm away in Australia, hence why there's going to be a lot of plastic containers. So just dibbing that up into the containers, adding in that creamy cauliflower mash, oh my gosh. Honestly, guys, this would have to be one of my favorite meals out of the three that I make today. Um, I'm adding a little bit of a crunch factor with some cashew nuts. And then I'm just popping a lid on and putting it in the freezer. All ready for Avi's dinner. He's actually going to cook up some rice to add to a few of these dishes as well. The next dish is one that I'm sure everybody's heard of. It's just your easy standard stir fry. The best way to get rid of any vegetables in your household that need to be used or any meat that may need to be used. I'm just cutting up all these vegetables kind of into battens um, and setting those aside. To my chicken, I'm just adding in some garlic, some soy sauce and some corn flour. And I'm just going to kind of slightly marinate this up for about 10 minutes. This is what I call your quick marinade. Because you could do this like prior to this. But ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, so while that was marinating I cooked up those vegetables. And then I'm adding in the chicken to my hot pan with a little bit of olive oil. Just to get that all combined. And I'm going to cook that off. And once I've cooked that all up. I'm literally going to put the vegetables back in there and I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce. I actually added some cabbage into this one as well, some leftover cabbage. Like stir fry is the bomb for putting in tons and tons of vegetables. So that is the uh, outcome right there. Some delicious, healthy, yummy stir fry. Like I say, Avi's going to cook up a big batch of rice and he's going to eat his way through the rice and the stir fry. And that's four nights of meals that he can eat or 
two meals for, for dinner and two meals for lunch totally up to him how he decides on how he wants to eat this and then once again the crunch factor I've just got a few chopped up nuts adding that in and voila simple doesn't look all that pretty but simple okay so my third dish is the classic butter chicken but today I'm adding in well more carbs I'm actually going to be adding in two medium-sized potatoes I just thought this might bulk it up because well it is dinner for Avi and he does work really hard so I thought that, that you know we'll just bulk it up a little bit now here's where you don't have to do this I just was being lazy um, and I put the raw chicken with the potatoes the potatoes weren't quite cooked yet but um, they're gonna cook through with the chicken as well now this is where you'll see me actually using the spatula to cut the chicken because I realized then that oh Leah forgot to cut the chicken my bad um, but anyway once it's all you know cut up or whatever and cooked through we're actually going to take it off the heat and we're going to put the pot or the pan back on with a bit of butter in it quite a bit of butter hence butter chicken come on guys adding to the pan I've just got a little bit of ginger and I'm just going to cook that through and then I'm going to add in the spices sort of making my own kind of paste but not really sort of but not really <laughs> um, so I'm adding in some of those spices if I do remember I'm going to link the actual video to this recipe because it's real easy um, this is the way that I make my butter chicken this recipe that I'm using on today's video is actually a, diff a little bit different though because I've added potatoes which I normally never ever do and I'm so sorry if I'm like I don't know like doing everything totally wrong in the kitchen I literally just make things up so <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm doing today. It still tasted really good though. I did end up having a taste of this one Adding in some tinned tomatoes. You can use fresh if you want, but here in Aotearoa We're actually at the end of summer. Goodbye summer. So that means that tomatoes are kind of um, Heading back up in the price Yep, so just adding a little bit of coconut milk to that to give it that kind of buttery saucy mmm and then of course it turns that nice vibrant orange as well um, I did cook it through a little bit longer with the tomatoes with it just so that it kind of cooks right through and adding the coconut milk kind of towards the end and then I'm just popping those into some more containers and like I say, it said earlier Avi's gonna do what he wants with the rice or whatever he might end up having some like wrap bread or something like that with this it's totally up to him but that got us four good meals which is super epic and like I say, these meals were so easy. And of course, back with the cashews, because why not? Um, so I've added some cashews to this as well. He's going to probably be like, what was that with all the cashews when he actually opens them up? But hey, at least he got his dinner made, that's for sure. Hey guys, so I just finished filming this whole video on three different ways to make chicken dishes. Avi is going to be away, I think I explained it in the start of the video, Avi's going to be away, no, I'm going to be away, <laughs> I'm going to be away for around 8 days, so to be the good guy that I am, I ended up making his meals for the time being while I'm away, he's actually got a couple of free ones in there that he could have for lunch or you know, whatever, when, when I come back or something like that. Um, I just thought I'd mention that I started this at 3 p.m. and it's just gone 5.30, so a couple of hours. And it was just using whatever I had in my fridge. Like, I didn't go out and get anything specific. I just used up vegetables that were going, that were like almost gone in my fridge. It's just so easy, guys, to just... You really don't realise how easy it is until you get all your food out on the bench and you think about what you could make with it and how easy it is. You don't have to go to the supermarket and buy special ingredients you don't have to go out and get the flashes ingredients to make meals like these meals are delicious and they're going to be um, easy for Avi just to come home because he finishes work late and just quickly zap it in the microwave and eat so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making these I feel like I want to do this again like actual work when I'm at home and not away but give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Um, I've got some more content coming out very, very soon from, from my trip away. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day. Bye.